Hey, what's going on? It's Glendon Cameron here once again. New blog, first link below. Check it out. Hustler Food. When I was getting a blog ready, I thought about something. It was an 18 month period of my life where I got laid off. Not once, not twice, but three times. It's the time of year where a lot of people are getting pink slips. It's kind of crazy. Every Thanksgiving, every Christmas, a lot of people get laid off. So you got fired. So what are you going to do? Seriously, what are you going to do? It's one of the worst feelings in the world. Laid off, fired. It's the same thing. You don't have no job, Tommy. Okay, now here's the deal. Got fired, you have to come up with an action plan. And the first action plan is a mental action plan. I've known a few people that have gotten laid off this year and they got a package. Maybe 15 months of payment of salary, full salary. I know one person got 25 months full salary, so that's two years and a month. And the first thing that everyone does is relax, chill out, take a few vacations, start hanging out, going to catch up on with old friends because they got that package. But, or they may have, you know, half a year of unemployment or something like that. That's really the wrong way to go. And I'm going to tell you why. If you get laid off with a package, and you start doing the things that I'm about to tell you, your money's gonna last much longer. First thing you do, you act like you don't have that money. You don't have the package, you don't have the unemployment. What would you do if you had neither one of those things? You will start making critical decisions. You'll start getting rid of cable. You'll start getting rid of excess cell phones. You'll start, this is the, these are the things that you need to do even though you have the package because there are many people that have what I call budgets laced with a lot of fat, things that just don't need. So the first thing you do, if you don't have one, is create a budget. And you start ha-hunka, chopping fat, left and right, chopping fat, getting rid of cable. I mean, seriously, even if you got the package, even if you had, act like you don't have the money. Because this is why. If you are 20-something, 30-something, the chances of you getting a job are much better than if you're 40-something or 50-something. And many of the people that I know are 40-something or 50-something. And I've been seeing this extended, long, drawn-out period of no employment. And many people did not. <laughs> they did not take this advice. So, step number one, you don't have the money. You got to go into crisis mode, or as I like to say, in your Asian mode. Start getting rid of stuff. Then go around your house, apartment, whatever, and create a list of things that you can sell. Get rid of them. If you've got clothing in your closet that you haven't worn in ages, it's got to go. Start leaning this stuff out because this is going to help you with part two. When you don't have a job, you go a little crazy because you have this time to look for a job, which is very, very frustrating, which is the reason that many people go on vacation because they don't want to deal with it. So in your crisis mode, in your Asian mode, you are going out, you're doing stuff, you're selling stuff, you're getting rid of stuff. And then as you do this, because your days should be like this, get up, figure out what you're going to do in terms of getting rid of stuff, selling stuff. And yes, look for a job, but also create one. Because if you have a package, if you have money and you go through this action plan, you're going to train yourself the main discipline of entrepreneurship, which is how to handle money, how to make a lot happen with little or nothing. So you get that skill set going. And this is the thing. Um, I was watching this documentary and was listening to this guy. And just the way that we're going, it's a very scary place because we're running out of jobs faster than... Uh, we can create them for this population that is just growing, growing, growing. I don't really have an answer for what's going to happen. But in the short term, and the short term is the next 40, 50, 60 years. Yeah, in the span of history, that's actually short term. 
we're going to see that change. I don't know how it's going to be, but if you're like me and you employ yourself, you're not going to fire yourself. You're not going to lay yourself off. You're not going to do a corporate downsizing of yourself. You're not going to do these things. So figure out what you can do to earn money. So in your mind, you got this money savings account, 401, not 401k, savings account, maybe a money market account, money goes there, and you try to create income as soon as you can without a job. You may do consulting. You might do, I'm not talking about take a week off. I'm talking about if it's Friday evening and you like, here's your pink slip, say 3 p.m., 6 p.m., you need to be working on this action plan because I've seen it too many times. That package people, next thing you know, a month slips by, two months slips by, three months, four months, five months, six months. Next thing you know, it's been a year and they really haven't done anything to move forward in terms of earning income. Now, this is the really serious, sick part. If you go ahead and say within 30 days, I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's 500 bucks. I don't care if it's a thousand. If you start producing income, your self and confidence is going to improve, which will help you look for a job. Because when you walk in there like sad, sad Sam, may I have a job, sir, please? I don't want your sad ass up in there. I wouldn't. So you, you build this income and it stretches what you have because I've seen this so many times, you know, really listen to me, really, really, really listen to me. You can find yourself in a really rugged spot very, very quickly in a matter of months, because when you are not working, you spend money faster when you're working because you have more free time and there's more stuff and there's Amazon Prime and there's eBay and there's all these shopping and, and you know, you get to go hang out at the museum in the middle of don't do it. Don't do it. Get your action plan mentally together first. Pretend you don't have the money and create a source of income as soon as possible. Because what's happening right now with the holiday seasons and the layoffs and the companies making those four, you know, uh, fourth quarter look good. This is going to become a monthly occurrence. It's going to be it's going to start amping up. You're going to start seeing people rifted reduction in force in a lot of industries in the next two to three years because technology is saying, see ya, don't want to be you. So this could be you. This could be you. And the sooner you do this stuff and the sooner you get together your hustle, the better off you're going to be, because this is the beautiful thing. If you do this and say in six months you find a job but because you went on this crisis management mode instead of that money that you have for your package being dissipated and paying bills you got a war chest in your bank account i don't know about you but in my mind it is better to have money and not need it than to need it and can't get it so just my thoughts that's what i did when i uh, had my layoffs it was a little different. I didn't have the hustler mindset that I have now, but in six weeks, I tripled what I was making. I had two jobs and I tripled what I was making with one. <laughs> six weeks, six weeks because I had a crisis management. I started, and the thing is when you go into crisis management and you start asking yourself very important questions, you may surprise yourself at your abilities because you've never had to dig that deep to really get to that type of stuff. So you'll be amazed at what you can do. And with the technology and the tools that are available, the world is truly your oyster. All right, this is Glendon Cameron. I'll see you on the good side. Make sure that you read that little, little dip yeah, the little dip, dip below. Check out those links and be sure to get on my email list. All right. And with that, once again, I'll see you on the good side.